Hello, today we'll be going over the data structure queues in C++. So, um, I guess firstly, what exactly is a queue? Uh, well, you can think of it as, let's say, um, you have this uh, shop or building and you have to stand in a line. Um, so, when you you're waiting in line, right? If you stood in line first, then obviously you're the one that should be accessing whatever here's first, right? You don't want like the person to, to behind you to get there first. So basically what queues do is basically follows this order where um, First in is first out. So the first person to go in, you can think of it as the first person to go out. Um, so it'd be this person first, and then this person, and then this person, and so on. So you can think of it as like a, um, a line of people. Um, and yeah, so um, if we think of it as like a data structure, let's say we have um, this block here, you have something you push something into the queue, you have a value here, let's say three, and then you push like two in, and then five, and so on. Then when you try to access the element in the queue, you're going to be accessing the first one, um, like the front of the queue, and you'll get three. And then, yeah, you can erase this element, and then you'll be left with two. So then when you get the front of the queue, you'll now have two and so on. Um, yeah, so let's just do some. Let's, So if you are using uh, this header, you don't need to put it, but just in case the header for queues is just simply include queue. Um, so let's say we have a queue of integers called my queue. Um, so the syntax for initializing a queue is just queue, uh, whatever, I guess, um, data type you want inside the queue and then the name. Uh, like any other data structure. Um, let's say we want to push in some values and you can do uh, my view dot push say one and then you can print out the front element the same way. So here what we've done is we pushed in one into the queue and then when we try to access the front of my queue, um, right now we only have one element so it's obviously going to give us one. Yeah, so we have, oh, yeah, so we have one as the first element. But what happens if we push in more elements? Well, now we have um, three elements in the queue, and if we copy this code and see what element is still in the front, it's still going to be one. So you can think of it as everyone goes behind the first element, um, like you, know, as you would stand in the line or something. Um, you can remove elements from queues by doing uh, pop. And you can only really access the first element in the queue uh, because that's just how they work for the efficiency. Um, so when you do my queue dot pop, you're going to be popping the front. Um, so yeah, we can kind of see what happens to the queue when we run this. So now we have two. So first we had one, we pushed in two and three. It was still one at the front, but now we erased one. So two is the next to go in. Um, it's right behind one, so one, uh, two is going to be what's at the front of the queue now, and that's why it prints out. Um, 
You can also, I guess, get the size of a cube. So, see so yeah. So yeah, we have size of two because we originally had three, then we popped the front element out, and now we only have two elements in the queue. Um, yeah, uh, we can also check if the queue is empty by doing my, um, we can do something like is empty. And then and what this does is basically um, the condition is uh, is my queue empty if yes then uh, print out yes or if true print out yes and else print out no so yeah so this should obviously print out no um, because we still have two elements but Let's just say do my and thought we should print this out one more time. And yeah, we have now the queue is empty. So these are just the basic operations um, of using queues. Um, I guess some terminology I'll introduce is that whenever you push an element, um, it's called on queue. Um, I guess that's just a term for adding an element. And then if you take an element out, uh, if you pop it, then that's called DQ. Um, and yeah, uh, these are just some basic operations you can uh, use with queues. Um, and yeah, there are some scenarios where they are um, important, where you want to know just like what's at the front of your um, queue. Um, and you don't really care about what comes next. Um, and yeah, that's where they're really useful. Um, and yeah, that's it for queues. Thank you for watching.